welcome to graphic island tutorial in today's tutorial i'll show you how to split shapes in two different ways so let's get started from the toolbar i'll select this ellipse tool by using shift and alt key on keyboard i'll drag it and make it a circle and i'll change the color of this circle to black and I'll remove the outlines of the circle. Now I'll make a cutout at the center of this circle. So I'll draw another circle from the center by using Shift and Alt key. And I'll change the color of this circle so that it would be visible that both the circles are separate. Now I'll cut in horizontal and vertical. So for that, I'll select this rectangular tool and here I'll draw a rectangle and here I'll draw another rectangle. Let me align it to horizontally center and vertically. Now I'll split it. So to split the all the orange color objects, what I'll do, I'll just select them all together and I'll go to this Pathfinder option from here I'll click on minus front now everywhere made a gap and it is splitted the shape so after splitting the shape if you drag it and move it you can see this is still one shape so we need to separate them after splitting so what I'll do from here I'll Unite it. After uniting, I'll go to object and ungroup it. Now the shapes are separated. So this is the one method I did. And now I'll, I'll show you the another method. So this time I'll take this rectangular tool and here I'll draw a square by using shift and alt key. And I'll rotate it. So after rotation of 45 degree, what I'll do, I'll make a curve shape here by using pencil tool. And let me give a stroke to this curve up to this much and expand it. After expanding, uh, this stroke will convert it into object. So I'll change the color and I'll drag it by using Alt key and make one more here. And this time I'll select them and I'll take this shape builder tool and by pressing Alt key on the keyboard, I'll just delete it and make it a gap. So this time the splitted shapes are separated. You can see here. And you can use different color to it. Here also you can use different color. So I hope you understand how to split shapes in Adobe Illustrator in two different ways. So see you in next video. Thank you.